an enwyr tad ar y mab ar osbriglan in the essence of the source of the manifest and of the breath let us commune in the oneness of being Amen Almighty God and to whom all hearts are open all desires known and from whom no secrets are hid cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord Amen Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against Thee in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life to the honour and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. The Collect for Pentecost. God, who at this time taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending to them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through the merits of Christ Jesus our Saviour who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is taken from Numbers, chapter 11, verses 24 to 30. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and he gathered 70 elders of the people and placed them all around the tent. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the seventy elders. And when the Spirit rested upon them, they prophesied, but they did not do so again. Two men remained in the camp, one named Eldad and the other named Medad, and the Spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but they had not gone out to the tent, and so they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. And Joshua, son of Nun, the assistant of Moses, one of his chosen men, said, My Lord Moses, stop them. But Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit on them. And Moses and the elders of Israel returned to the camp. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 104, verses 24 to 34. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there, living things both small and great. There go the ships, and Leviathan that you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. 
When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our New Testament reading is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 to 21. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear, each of us, in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In our own languages we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, even upon my slaves, both men and women. In those days I will pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Listen to the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, to thee, O Lord. Lord. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive. For as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When it was evening, on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, your word to our hearts and our hearts to your word. Give us grace to receive it, to understand it and to obey it. Through Christ our Saviour. Amen. <clears throat> In our Gospel reading from John, Jesus speaks to the disciples and breathes on them. He puts the Spirit on them. Luke has a different take on that at the end of the Gospel of Luke. Jesus is with the disciples on the Mount of Olives, breathes on them and then ascends to heaven. Having already said to them, go back to Jerusalem and wait, I'm going to send you a new friend, a new best mate to be with you, to support you. In Acts, the Acts reading from chapter 2 we've heard earlier, we start off with the disciples locked in the upper room. It's ten days after the Feast of the Ascension. And they're there fearful still of what's going on. Fearful of the Pharisees and the Sadducees sending soldiers, sending the guards to arrest them and put them in prison. Then something happens. Luke describes it as a great wind rushing into the room. Flames like tongues of fire over their heads. And it's at that point the frightened band of followers of Jesus after having had 10 days to contemplate, to pray together in that upper room, get strength of character to be able to go out into the marketplace, leave the locked upper room, 
move out into the open air and stand and proclaim that Jesus is the Messiah. And they didn't do it in the rarefied words of the temple. They did it in the common words of the marketplace so that everybody could understand the message. Some thought because it was early in the morning they were hung over from a party the night before. They're filled with wine. And others said, let's listen to what they say. Remember, it wasn't just another group that had come in. It was people who'd come to Jerusalem for a pilgrimage to spend time between the Passover and Pentecost. And the same people who shouted Hosanna on what we call Palm Sunday were the same people who shouted Crucify on Good Friday. And the same people who then for 50 days would have heard the stories of the resurrected Jesus being seen around with his disciples and other people. The resurrection was a known fact to them. They saw the empty tomb and they heard the stories. And now they see before them the frightened disciples, no longer frightened, but full of courage, being prepared to stand in the open market and say, Jesus is the Messiah. And then throw an accusation at the Sadducees and the Pharisees, and the Sanhedrin and say and it was you it was you who were the ones who asked for him to be crucified and on that day thousands turned to Peter and the other disciples and repented of their sins and so for the past two months Metaphorically, we've been locked in that upper room. The coronavirus pandemic has wrapped around us and turned us into frightened people. But now, because we've followed the isolation that was requested by the government, things are beginning to ease. And it won't be long before we're meeting again, hopefully, in church to share the gospel message. But what I want you to take from this is don't just do it in church. Go into the marketplace, go into the local shops. And when you see people, don't be frightened of talking to them about Jesus being the Messiah. We live in the small villages. Everybody knows which chapel or church we go to. So don't be surprised when this is all over they start asking you questions about God don't have a rehearsed answer just listen to what they say and then just say as Philip did to Nathaniel come and see for yourself Amen Filled with the Holy Spirit, we have confidence present all our needs before the Lord. We pray for the church, giving thanks for our Christian inheritance in Gower and the witness of our local saints. In our intercessions today, the invocation is, Lord, come to bless us. And the response 
and fill us with your spirit. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. Generous God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that we may be strengthened to serve you better. Lord, come to, to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the wisdom of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to make us wise to understand your will. Remember John, our Archbishop, and all who minister in this special place of Christian witness. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the peace of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to keep us confident of your love wherever you call us to be and witness. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the healing of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to bring reconciliation and wholeness where there is division, sickness and sorrow. Remember those who are ill at this time, those who are confused in nursing homes. Remember all who care for the sick and the ill. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Equip us for the work which you have given us to do. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to reveal in our lives the love of Jesus, that we may be witnesses to God, to the gospel, to all we meet in our daily lives, in the shop, in the market, and just on the street. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the breath of your Holy Spirit given to us by the risen Lord. We ask you to keep the whole church living and departed in the joy of eternal life. We remember the recently departed. All who have died this last night, especially those who have no one to mourn or pray for them. Remember our own departed loved ones and those whose anniversaries fall at this time. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. In a few moments of silence, we pray to our Heavenly Father, remembering to give thanks for prayers so wonderfully answered. Father, may our prayers be joined with those of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint David, Saint Gwenor, Saint Ellen, Saint Ridian, Saint Iltid, and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
since we have a high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. All things come of thee, and of thine own do we give thee. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and abandoned duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, according to whose most true promise the Holy Spirit came down as at this time from heaven with a sudden great sound, as it had been a mighty wind, in the likeness of fiery tongues, lighting upon the apostles to teach them and to lead them to all truth, giving them both the gift of diverse languages and also boldness with fervent zeal constantly to preach the gospel unto all nations, whereby we have been brought out of darkness and error into the clear light and true knowledge of thee and of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory, Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory, praise and thanksgiving be unto thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, creator and sustainer of all things, maker of humankind in thine own image who gave us thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. There he made the one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memorial of that his precious death until his coming again. Therefore we beseech thee, O merciful Father, to sanctify with thy Holy Spirit these thy gifts of bread and wine, that we receiving them, according to thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, may be partakers of his most precious body and blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, making the memorial of the blessed passion, mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of thy dearly beloved Son, as he hath commanded us, rejoicing in his gift of the Holy Spirit and looking for his coming again with power and great glory, we, thy servants, with all thy holy people, 
to set forth before thy divine majesty this bread of eternal life, this cup of everlasting salvation. And we beseech thee to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and to grant to us and thy whole church remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And we pray that all we who are partakers of this Holy Communion may be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction and be numbered in the glorious company of thy saints. Troyes y gris den harcloid y bo, troyd o'r ef, and o'r ef, a chad ag ef, an un dod yr ysbryd glan y bob yn radedd y gogoni anti ti, o dad o'r llafliog. Throughout all ages, world without him. Amen. Amen. bread which we break, it is not the communion of the body of Christ. We, who are many, are one bread, one body. For we are all partakers of the one bread. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table. But thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. As our Saviour, Jesus Christ, taught us, we boldly say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Draw near to Christ. Receive Christ in your spirit, in your soul. Coffee white Christ, hath God worn a bowitra guido. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in eternal life. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious. For his love endureth forever. 
Almighty God, we thank Thee for feeding us with the body and blood of Thy Son, Jesus Christ, through whom we offer to Thee our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of Thy Spirit to live and work to Thy praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the Son of peace to you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Now in the power of the Spirit, go, take the Gospel to all whom you meet. Go in the name of Christ. In the name of Christ. Amen.